another great day with Brian and Tracy. Yeah, today's best country and all your favorites, your morning weather, your news, and laundry advice. We bring it all to you here on the Wake Up Morning Show. Uh, we're washing our clothes too much, according to experts. Too much. Twice a week is is wrong. Well, what they say is uh, th- there are things that you should clothing that you should only wear once between washes, like socks and underwear and undershirts, right. things, things of that. And obviously, if it's got visible dirt and ketchup on it and stuff like that, right? You know. But there are other things that you don't have to wash every single time, like pants, sweaters, blouses, pajamas. Usually, you can wear those things. They say three or four times is usually fine. Really? And then, and then things like jeans. They yeah. say you can usually, I mean, provided you don't spill stuff on it and get muddy, right. you can usually wear a pair of jeans 10 times before you have to wash them. My brother yeah. was right all those years. Right. Yeah. Now, there are other things that you hardly ever need to wash. They say outerwear, like coats and jackets, mm-hmm. uh, dress clothing that you don't wear that often. Mm-hmm. Uh, too many washes will just ruin the fabric. Now, something else that came up in this uh, in this topic as we were as I was reading through this so-called survey mm-hmm. is that you're also probably using too much laundry detergent when you wash your clothes do the pods count uh, one pod I don't know the pods are pods because they're self-contained but right. uh, a whirlpool brand manager said that most manufacturers who make detergent tell you to use too much soap okay check this out. A small load, you might only need a tablespoon of detergent if you use liquid okay. detergent. If you're going to use a larger load, two tablespoons. In other words, a shot glass <laughs> is three <laughs> tablespoons. That's probably all you need because they say if you use too much soap, that will actually cause some clothes to kind of hang and stick together and not get loose in the in the wash so actually too much detergent will make your clothes not wash and clean effectively do you know how happy this makes me yeah and i'm probably you every save female, some money every save money save money on waters and every female happy because if you've gone out and you've only worn your outfit two to five hours you can still hang it up and wear it the next day if you want to laney wilson wildflowers and wild horses on ksam i'm carlos zimmerman your weather forecast is coming up also i've got some Jake Owen and Morgan Wallen around the corner as well. Well, folks, they say the customer's always right, but do you really believe that? 18-year-old Anna Hariki works at a place near Indianapolis called Prime Car Wash. She had a run-in this month with a customer who was very rude for no good reason. The woman had just pulled her car into the tunnel to get it washed, and Anna was pressure washing the driver's side doors when the lady rolled down her window and she threw a cup of lemonade at her. It's not clear why the woman was upset, but Anna did not skip a beat. While the window was still down, she took the pressure washer and blasted the woman in the face. The whole thing only lasted a few seconds before the lady rolled her window up and Anna went back to washing the car. Security camera got it all on video. The car wash sided with Anna. The woman and her boyfriend are now banned from coming back. Ha! It's Faith Hill with Breathe on 101.7K Sam. You're listening to 90s at noon. Your weather forecast is on the way. Also got Pantillus and Reba around the corner as well. Well, we're in our lunch hour. Here is your third and final news story, uh, or n- not news story, food story of the day. Uh, after a tough day, would you rather have a gourmet meal like the ones they have on those cooking shows, or will the baked mac and cheese that your partner makes suffice? A new survey has asked people if they had to pick a lane, would they rather have gourmet food or comfort food for the rest of their lives? 70% of people said they prefer comfort food. 16% said gourmet food. They didn't really define each, but it sounds like comfort food was more like chicken wings, pasta, pizza, and burgers, while gourmet food was more like the stuff you'd get at a fancy restaurant. Some people would be willing to go to extremes to eat their favorite meal of all time. 40% of people would take a 20-hour flight to get it. 17% would bike for 300 miles for it. 14% would walk for 200 miles to get it. Yeah, that's not worth it. Come on. Warren Ziders and Pretty Little Poison on KSAM. Good afternoon. I'm Big Len Edwards. Your forecast is coming up. Okay, so it is February 29th. Yeah, it is leap day, leap year. You know, we get this day only once every four years for the most part. Uh, So have you ever wondered, though, what would happen if we didn't do this? It might be more dramatic than you may think. It takes the Earth 365.24 days to orbit the sun, 
which is 365 days, 5 hours, 48 minutes, and 56 seconds. Now, those extra hours create enough time for one new day every four years. And if we didn't add that extra day, the calendar would shift by about 25 days every century, meaning that after about 600 years, Christmas would actually happen in July or something around there like that, in the sense that it would be in the middle of the summer, at least in the Northern Hemisphere. So basically, leap years are vital to keep the months in sync and seasons and annual events, of course, like the equinoxes and the solstice. Yeah, see, there you go. There's a reason behind it.